What's up, peeps? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor Channel. I'm Chef Andy, your guy for DIY and a whole bunch more. Hey, guys, uh, today we're going to be making a very quick, very easy recipe. Uh, it just has one flavoring concentrate, a little bit of sweetener, and uh, it's going to be real quick and easy, but I thought I'd make it for you guys. Uh, it's one of my favorite, period, whether I drink it or whether I vape it. Um, today we're going to be making some Dr. Pepper, or should I say Dr. Pop? Yeah, it doesn't matter which, which you call it, Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pop, it's all that same goodness and yummy, mmm, 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 mm. yeah, that's how I feel about that. Uh, okay, so today, uh, I've already explained what we're making, but I'd like to show you just a few tools that we'll be using. To make this recipe, we will be using nicotine. All right, and I have switched over to uh, 100 milligram, so 100 percent. Uh, I've switched over to that instead of the 24 percent, um, and I'll share with you why real quick. Uh, I have found that a few recipes that I was making didn't quite taste quite right. Now if you use the lesser nicotine, I should say the lesser concentrated nicotine, um, the rest of what's in there is generally uh, PG or VG, whatever is your base. However, um, when you go to use your calculator, and I use eJuice Me Up, you can Google that, what you'll find out is because of the concentrate in there, you'll be using more of that nicotine and less of the VGPG concentrate and what happens is that that nicotine I have found now I, other people may have different ideas I don't put everybody in the same boat no two vapors are alike but what happens is that nicotine the concentration that is in there affects the taste of that of that uh, VGPG so when you put that in and you're putting less actual VGPG and you're using that lower concentrated nicotine you could have some secondary kind of taste going on in there kind of might taste off a little bit and then you might find yourself adding a little bit more flavoring uh, maybe a little more sweetener just to overcome that taste so I had made before I even came on here and did any videos with you guys I had made a couple recipes after making that switch and I found that that problem went away. Um, if you have any questions that I can clarify for you on my opinion on the matter, by all means please subscribe, like the channel, comment below, ask any questions. I'm very easy to get a hold of. Of course my banner is up here and it also has my email if you feel like you'd rather just email me directly and don't want your questions uh, in, in the thread below that's cool too. Um, Alright, so we've switched over to the 100% um, and this here is by Liquid Barn and I have found them to be just a wonderful wonderful uh, producer of this nicotine tastes great or should I say it doesn't take away the taste great of the other stuff. Alright, um, of course we've got the concentrate Dr. Pop, Dr. Pepper, whichever you prefer. I have some sweetener and you might be asking what's in this big old blue big old blue condom here this uh, this uh, glove by the way that reminds me whenever I make these recipes I always make it a point to put on gloves um, especially when you're dealing with nicotine uh, but what's in here is 100% I'm sorry 50% PG 50% uh, VG, so 50% VG, 50% PG. Uh, I keep a glove around it because it's, the bottle is actually clear. And for me, uh, especially if you think about products that you might have at home that might have expiration dates, a lot of those have clear bottles, not all of them. Some of them can come in a, a covered bottle. Uh, most the, the biggest one that comes to mind, you might say, is milk, right? Other other stuff, and because there's dairy in there and all that good stuff, 
Uh, it's going to have a quicker expiration date, but there's other stuff too that has expiration dates uh, that come in clear bottles. Um, I like to put that glove over there uh, because I want to reduce the exposure to light. When you reduce the exposure to light, the longer this will last. The longer the flavor, the uh, the the flavor uh, will hold up. Um, I have not read or heard anything in, in our market, and there might be some articles out there that support that, but as a chef dealing with ingredients, I can tell you in the culinary world that absolutely holds up, so I just take the same precautions, the same rules, and the same uh, uh, ways of thinking, and I apply that to here. Um, so, again, that's just kind of where I stand on the whole thing. And uh, before we get making stuff here, oh, by the way, I have also a measuring glass right here. And I have hot water that was boiling. Uh, and that was about 10 minutes ago before I moved that out here. Because what I like to do, and most of the vaping world will say that steeping is putting ingredients together closing the bottle and letting it set for 7 to 14 days. I am not going to insult anybody's integrity by saying anybody is wrong. I will just say that once again I'm coming from a culinary world and when you think of steeping you think of things like coffee bags or tea bags uh, that kind of stuff and whenever you steep something you're introducing that to a hot liquid and the reason you introduce that to a hot liquid is so uh, again we're not cooking it so I don't care that it's not that it's not uh, boiling but it'll be hot right um, and the reason we do that is because when you introduce heat you get the molecules the, the everything just starts colliding kinda like a big bang theory right heat to stuff boom and so here's the deal you introduce it to heat and what happens is you agitate everything and so you get things colliding and and mixing with one another you get a deeper integrity with the flavor okay again you think about that in the in the culinary world uh, at home if you have those tea bags that you sit there that's steeping you might have one of those metal mesh balls that you put everything in and you dip it in there and again the liquid is hot that's steeping all right the other thing that we add to it is, I do that kind of steeping about once or twice, but there will be a time for, I want to say, 8 to 12 hours that I'll actually leave the lid off. Because whenever you get molecules and agitating those ingredients, agitating, it swells. So we also want to use the term when we make these breathing. That's our opportunity opportunity to allow everything after getting kind of agitated and colliding and mixing. Now we want it to breathe. The opportunity to siphon up or, or to uh, siphon out the swelling from the heat and getting it to fit back down there without breaking the glass uh, or the tincture. So I hope you understand that. Again, I'm not saying anybody else is right or wrong. I'm simply only applying my experience from being uh, a culinary. Uh, I have a, a degree in culinary, uh, and I've worked in kitchens pretty much all my life. Well, most of my life. Um, so I'm simply applying my own life experience to this simply because we are using, uh, you know, a vegetable grade stuff. Yes, they're chemicals, but they're also chemicals made out of out of things that we could absolutely uh, use in food and stuff. Maybe except the nicotine, but some of the flavorings and stuff like that, they they, in all honesty, could cross over. And you know, uh, so I hope that that answers that pretty well. And again, to my fellow vapors out there that like to make DIY, much love. I'm just applying my own thing, not saying anybody's right or wrong. I just want to make that very clear. I, I always say go with what you know, and that's what I know. So uh, having said that, 
if you don't mind, let's let's get it started. And I'm always going to start everything with you know. Ah, uh, okay. Little little mental madness here. What I like to do is I like to take all the ingredients, not the VGPG, and I like to mix them in here first. That way, I can just fill the rest up with a VGPG and get going with it. Uh, that makes things a lot easier. So as long as you know what your numbers are, this is a 30 uh, uh, milliliter bottle. And so as long as I know what all, my, all the things I'm going to put in here are, if you put everything in before the VGPG, then you can just top off the bottle with the VGPG and don't have to worry about the rest. Um, now, any manufacturer of concentrates will probably tell you 5 to, to 20 uh, milliliters or, you know, uh, the percentage-wise anyway. Um, I like to go, if I'm using 2 or more, uh, then I will adjust down whatever the dominant flavor is and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so since we only have one flavoring, I'm going to go ahead and go to 15% uh, because, as my name says, the juicy vapor. I love flavor and I love juice and I want to taste it. I mean, sock you in your mouth. Uh, you may want to adjust down. That's okay. Again, the calculator I use is E-Juice Me Up. It is wonderful. It's, it's comprehensive but simple. All right, so let's rock and roll. Um, we're going to start with the nicotine first. Now, I, have, I will tell you that I have not found very good uh, um, stoppers and needles and stuff to, to pull it out because nicotine tends to be very thick. All right. So, since I put everything in here, got to love this. See, another reason why I put gloves on. See how that came off the cap? and I'm having to touch it well it's a good thing I have my little gloves on alright I'm gonna minimize this program bring e-juice me up just so I don't make any mistakes and we have 100 percent concentrate here I my goal is to get to six milligrams uh, I'm sorry we have 100 milligram concentrate which is 100 percent we're going for six milligram concentrate here uh, and so when I ran that out, it said 1.8. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here and see what I can produce with it. Oh, it worked, it worked, it worked. All right. So now I'm putting the stopper back down to one line under. And you can see I actually got it to pull out. I hope you can see it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put that right on in there. Now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and cap the nicotine right away because I don't want spillage. All right. I recommend that you do that with every uh, chemical that you're using. Now, um, all right, so we have, as I said, we're going to do the VGPG last. Now, we have a category here that you can introduce. Uh, it says water, vodka, PGA. What I like to do is put the sweetener in here. Uh, and I have found 1% generally is about three drops. Uh, so that's what I'm going for is three drops. I'll, I'll probably put just a, just a tinge over that, but as you can see, I haven't even got up to the one or right about the one. So I'm just going to go a little bit. You don't need a lot with this. As you can see, I still have some in there. I'm going to go ahead and put that back down. All right, we're going to put that back in here. Now, the flavoring, I went for 15%. So it tells me I need 4.5, 4.5 on the uh, flavoring. So this goes up to 5. Let's see if I can get it in there. Got to be careful so I don't spill. Yeah, see, this is kind of thick for... So let's go to one without a needle. All right, 4.5, I went a little over. 
So I'm going to put a little bit back down, go one notch under, go ahead and put that in. All right. So now we've got the 4.5. And the rest, you can see how far it goes up there. The rest is VGPG, and that's going to be last. And I'm going to go ahead and use my little... Uh, My little, uh, yeah, you know what it is. I can never think of a name to call these things. Just like when you get an oil change, got a little one, just going to top off the rest. Now, be careful when you're pouring funnel. My bad. See? Um, forgive me when I brain fart like that. I'm just a normal human being. I'm not perfect. So sometimes I will lose myself dead in the middle of what I'm saying. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. This little funnel... Uh, this stuff is thick. You want to be very careful because otherwise you'll find it coming up and over. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let it run out. Then we're just going to go a little bit more. Very cool. Alright, so now I'm just going to let the rest run out here. And... Just put that a little bit in that hot water. It's not going to matter. All right. We're going to go put that back. We're going to put that back. And where'd my cap go? Where'd my... Uh, see? I did it again. All right. Let's take E-Juice Me Up off of here real quick. So I could see everybody again. Okay. So you can now see I got it to the top. And it's just what I said. You put all your your nicotine, sweetener, flavoring in there. And then all you got to do, since I know I'm using a 30 milligram or 30 milliliter bottle, the rest is just topped off with VGPG right to the top there. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on. We're going to give some good shakes, just so we start introducing everything together. Of course, we're going to repeat. And if you don't like that I'm saying steep with this, uh, and you want to use a different term just to kind of separate things, then you could say warm water bath. Uh, you could say warm water bath. That basically just increases the integrity of taste. Again, Whatever you want to call it, some like to want to call it steeping. I like steeping, but if it helps you to make more sense of it, breathing is still breathing, uh, but you could say warm water bath. And that's a very good way of uh, introducing and getting everything to work together as far as uh, the different ingredients that we have in here. And we're just going to dump it in there. See? right in there and it's hot water take my gloves off here alright yep since I deal with hot uh, stuff all the time that's not bothering me it's definitely not boiling uh, but it's definitely I would say right around 210 220 I tolerate things just from the nature of it my hands are used to it so I will leave that in there until that becomes room temperature and then I will do uh, when I get to about six days I will repeat the process of getting some warm water in there letting it breathe uh, again just to get the best possible flavor out of this that I can um, alright guys that's it I know I probably rambled on a little bit and I just want to make sure that I explain things and why I do things the way I do so that you could say to yourself, hey, this is for me or it's not for me, uh, or maybe I want to try a different way. That's fine. I will tell you that there are a few good people out here that I watched a lot of, a lot of videos. Uh, there's also some very good reviewers out there that uh, I love and I trust what they tell me. Uh, some of them are uh, uh, indoor smokers and... Uh, Tia Vapes, uh, I, I love what she does and her little lovely vapies and um, 
Yeah, and there's some other good uh, people that I started learning from for DIY when I first got going. And what I did was I did it their way. And then I started looking at ways that could incorporate what I do as a chef, a legitimate chef, and uh, start, in my opinion, start to make it more me, but I also knew what I was doing. Uh, so, and, and the thing is, is if I found something didn't work the way I had hoped it, well, I back down that process and, and just keep it simple, stupid, KISS method. Uh, so, again, you know, uh, we all kind of have a little bit different, but we all kind of start out in the way that's already out there because there are some proven, uh, proven things that work, proven things that don't. In between, feel free to grow and breathe and do things your own way. We all learn from one another, and, uh, you know, I just want to say uh, happy vape day to you. I am very thankful that you have come to my uh, lovely little channel here, The Juicy Vapor. Please, again, like, subscribe, ask any questions. I am very thankful of your time, and uh, hey, vape on as one of those lovely companies that I, I uh, have enjoyed for a long time, say. Having said all that, guys, later.